Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. In round number three, he is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. He is now a three-weight division world champion and the new WBC lightweight champion of the world, Mikey Garcia. And we have him in the studio with us right now. The champ is here. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having me. Yo, Mikey, I, man, I, man, I'm a big fan of yours, no, bro. No, thank you. I, uh, it, I've, I've watched, Heather, this guy to me is um, a boxer's boxer. Okay, okay. A lot of people compliment when they fight Floyd, you know, um, a lot of them say he's smart in the ring. Mm, right. Mikey, smart in the ring, extremely patient. Pick your you pick your spots, but that knockout power had to be is something to be feared. Mm. And he's gonna give Adrian Broner all that he can handle this Saturday at the Barclays Center, 9 p.m. Showtime live. That's right. I'm not been practicing that, Mike. Yeah, that's, not, that's, that's good, right. man. That's good. That's real good. That's real good, right? Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, one of the reasons why um, I've, I've followed your career because I'm from California and I know a lot of great boxers. It's a, it's a, Oxnard has one of the greatest boxing communities there is in this country as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Also, Oxnard has some tremendously talented rappers that come out of that area mm -hmm. too, man. Did you grow up in that area? Yeah, we grew up in Oxnard. Uh, in Ox so you went to school Just the whole went time? went to school, uh, graduated high school and everything in, in Oxnard. Uh -huh. uh, graduated from Pacifica High School in 06. Okay. So, I mean, we still got a lot of friends, family still there in Oxnard. And you come from a boxing family. Yes. Yeah, talk yeah. about that, man. Like, the, the shit, when you get in fights and when you were a kid, man, <laughs> you just get your ass whooped and that was like a lesson, right? Nah, well, <laughs> you know, growing up, uh, you know, uh, like you said, in a boxing family, uh, watching my, my brother uh, Robert, mm -hmm. you know, fight and my dad being the trainer and having Vargas at the same time. And so you just grow up, you know, with all my friends knowing that my brother and my dad are in boxing and I... um. I never envisioned myself being a boxer myself, but uh -huh. I was always around boxing so much that it was just like second nature to me. It was second nature. Speaking of second nature, how does a community turn into like a boxing community? Like Sway said, a lot of boxers come from that area. Is it like a outlet to box maybe for frustration? or Like how do people get into How did you get into it? It, it actually uh, has a lot to do with uh, the, the training, the trainers there. Um, most hmm. everybody that has a gym in Knoxnard started off with my father. Oh, uh, either, wow. either they were fighting amateurs or professionally for my dad, and then they branched out on their own. Um, where the gym was located is in the, the rough neighborhood, La Colonia neighborhood of Oxnard, which is a very gang-related, gang-affiliated neighborhood. So a lot of the kids actually, you know, went to, to the gym to stay away from the streets, and they, they learned the sport. They competed in the amateurs, some turned pro, and that's just the way it had always been for, for many years. As, as, as far as I can remember, my dad was there in control of the gym. And then my brother, Robert, was in control of the gym. And same thing, kids would come in to, you know, stay away from the streets. Wow. Your, your father is probably revered as one of the most, uh, well, one of the most revered trainers in boxing right now, Eduardo, you know, and your brother, his brother's a former champion. Mm -hmm. So that shit just flows through your blood, huh? It, it's like I said, it's it's just natural. It's second nature. It's just, uh, you know, um, following the, the same footsteps as my, my brother and uh, it, my kids now, you know, they, uh -huh. the little one, he, he's only two and he's already, you know, always getting in the gym, hitting the, the bag and. Uh -huh. I mean, he just, he just, that's what he sees. That's At what we two? call him. Wow. Little that's bam, true. bam. Little bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knocking fools out. Uh, your last fl fight with uh, Dejan Slatikine. Yes. Uh, his first loss. Yes. That was his first loss. Knockout, I think, with the fifth, sixth round. Knockout. Third. Third Damn. round. So, pardon me, Mikey. My bad. <laughs> he ain't got time for five <laughs> rounds, Sway. You playing. Why are you trying to do that to his legacy? Yeah. He ain't got time for five, five rounds. rounds. Okay, I had to get out of there. <laughs> Damn. You've been on a mission since you, you know, you had to take a break because of your contract, right? Yes. And, and, and 
And then you stay with the same team, though, right? Well, we we took a, a two and a half year uh, break mm-hmm. due to uh, litigation with my contractual uh, dispute with my former promoter. Mm-hmm. When we finally were able to get back in the ring, you know, I, I wanted to get back right where I left off and 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 get the title fights, get the big fights. Mm-hmm. Um, I stuck obviously with my dad and my brother in my corner, and my nephews as the assistant trainers. Mm-hmm. Um, but I no longer have uh, my my former manager uh-huh. uh, or my promoter. It's just you know the, the the family that really takes care of me the most. So that's that's what we stick by. You know, we had easily the most um, successful promoter in the game today. Uh, Leonard Ellaby uh, came by yesterday, and I was singing your praises. Like, man, why you never tried to you know work with Mikey Garcia like mm-hmm. in his family? You know, and and this and this is what he had to say about. <laughs> He's uh, definitely one of the top young fighters in the sport. He was uh, a young fighter we were interested in at one point, and um, but come Saturday night, I, I think I think that Adrian's going to stop him. He said he thinks Adrian is going to stop you. Well, that's that's good for them. Yeah. Well, he he has to uh, say that. I don't know if he believes it though. <laughs> <laughs> he has to say what he has to do to promote his fighters, you know, and. They have a very good relationship with uh, Floyd and, mm-hmm. and Adrian. And, uh, I'm not affiliated with them professionally in that way. Yeah. Um, so of course he's got to, you know, hype up his fighter. But I, I don't think he believes that himself. You, you don't. You don't think- <laughs> Yo, he Shit. said that he so said straight. Right. Looking at your sway, eyeballs. Looking at me, sway. Leonard doesn't believe that. <laughs> you know. Um, you move. You in this weight class now, man. It's a it's a, it's a heavier weight class. You're, you're fighting somebody who's been in the weight class for quite some time. Adrian is a talented boxer. I, you know, I don't think anybody denies that. Yeah. I think his antics probably take take you away from that. But this is he's at a crossroad too. You know, if he doesn't win this fight, you know, this kind of pushes him back in terms of yeah. the, of the tier of fighters people want to see. Yeah. You know, because of the antics that led up to this. You know, but if you don't win this fight, like, what does this fight mean to you? Oh, I I think this is a very important fight for me. Um probably the most important of my career so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, reason for it, because I am fighting a four-division world champion mm-hmm. who has been champion even at welterweight and mm-hmm. fought some of the best welterweights. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it, this fight, I think, opens up the doors for bigger fights for me. Mm-hmm. And I'm taking on the biggest challenges available. Uh, I could have taken an easier fight, a title defense back home, but that really doesn't do anything for my legacy or for my career. I want the big challenges. Adrian Brunner brings that big guy, big name, uh, four division world champion, like I, like I just said. And um, you know, I, this fight, winning this fight, brings me up to to that stardom, to to that you know place where where anybody uh-huh. recognizes me, and I'm the A side of of any any uh, negotiation, any fight like that. Uh-huh. I think the options are endless after this fight. I'm going to tell you like this, Mikey Garcia. They're going to recognize you because of your suit alone, man. This is a <laughs> nice dressed young man right here. Uh, I'm going to open up the phone lines. I mean, you got a lot of fans on the phone lines. Mikey Garcia is here. He's fighting this weekend, Saturday night at the Barclays Center, 9 p.m. Showtime Live. Make sure you're watching it. If you can't be at the Barclays, you want to talk with him, 888-742-3345. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.